I wouldn't let anybody, no matter who you are, faceless or not faceless, you know, dictate to me who I am. Are you ever in makeup artist? Yeah, I trained three three places. Why I left the makeup artistry was the fact that I got bullied. Maybe it was my technique that she didn't understand. The moment I picked my brush, she was just slapping my hand. What are you doing? That's not how to do it. You look so good. You know I'm coming to already read your comments. We had the agreement. Remember you said I should come? I'm coming. Hi. Hi. Welcome to another episode of Who's in My House. And in my house today, I have the lovely, okay. the delectable, the one, the only, <laughs> hey. the biggest makeup guru we have Ooh. in Nigeria, number one influencer, badass content creator, and mother, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, all this for I me. Like, this high. Hey. <laughs> Hi, babe. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. Let me open my eyes. Open it well. Can you see me? I can see you. Okay. Are you the one in my front? Okay, okay. It's me, it's me. So today, through the show, we're going to have an interesting thing happening here. I hope you love ice cream. I love it. I can okay. see so much. So we're going to make our ice cream however we want it. And okay. then we'll just chat while we do, do it. it. All I'm right. going to start because this is my favorite. So, <laughs> but okay. tell me, how have you been? Hey, <laughs> very well. Uh, it's been amazing. Yeah. You know, this year started off really well for me. Yeah. And I'm just really grateful to God, even though the devil tried. Well, the devil did try. <laughs> well, let's talk a bit about that. Because hmm. you've been in the news recently for amazing things that have been happening for yes, you, by yes, the way. Yes, yes, yes. But then you know that you cannot be. <laughs> Having amazing things happening for you, and then you know, somewhere at the back, somebody will be wishing, Why is it only that them the amazing things is happening for? <laughs> is it my fault? <laughs> it's not my fault that God is good uh, now. As you go and pick up this problem with God, uh, yeah. picking it do up you understand me. God's favorite <laughs> child? No, but tell me, how are you able to balance, you know, being a mom and you know, having to know that your child goes to school and is probably going to. Have to hear some of these things hmm. um balancing just living your own life and knowing your truth and then having to deal with all of this speculation about you online and just all of that so the thing is yeah i would say that's like really the address for me because yeah. i have a daughter that literally looks up to me yeah. and you don't want her growing up seeing so many horrible news yeah. about her mom so it's just really heartbreaking which is why most times, I wouldn't lie to you, most times when I see lies, terrible lies told about me, I come out to debunk it because that is not me. I wouldn't let anybody, no matter who you are, faceless or not faceless, you know, dictate to me who I am. Do you understand? I know myself. So that way, sometimes, not all the time, yeah. I do not ignore everything. Yeah. Sometimes I just come out to tell people this is not who they, you know, they try to, to they try to pay me to be. Do you understand? Even though recently I had a very loud outburst online. You did, girl. We yeah, saw it. Yeah, it was bad. Did like I was, I was, I was down because I literally just achieved something, you know, amazing for myself yeah. and my brand, and it felt like. An attack. Yes, it felt like it an attack. Like so I just had to come out because it was very painful. Ah. So I'll say this. In the between the two months we've mm. had in this year, mm. I've seen amazing things that you're doing, amazing projects that you're working on that you've not even, you know, put out there yet for people to see mm. and everything. And I just wanted to point out to you that you know you cannot have all of those amazing things happen for you. And somebody somewhere is not going to sit down and think it cannot just be died. I mean, it's okay. It's okay for people to come and yeah. say whatever they want to say. I mean, it's their opinion. 
And that's the thing, I cannot let your opinion define me. The hardest part of watching your response video, I guess for me, mm. was, I was just like, damn. Her daughter is in the video. My love. Um, for me, so for me, I'm just like, how are you actually able to cope with the things she's able to see? You know, when she's even online on her own, because I know these children, these days, they're just taking phones. They're very, they are very curious. Are. They want to know everything. So the thing is, here, <clears throat> it is what you accept now that will continue. Do you understand? Okay, let me ask you this here. If they call you a thief, would you say, okay, because I'm our, I don't want people to say, mm, let me just ignore, so you would accept me, it. Let me tell you what's funny. Mm. You know, it's very easy to say you do things when it's not, you're not even wearing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I remember when I was just starting out in media, I was like, I'm going to be a whiz kid in this industry. Anything mm. you say about me, <laughs> as long as I know my truth, when I lay my head on my pillow, <clears throat> Hmm. If you see the wars I'm, I fight in my comment section, if you call me a rat, I'll call you a ghost because <laughs> you're crazy. And I realize it's not that easy to it's keep easy. quiet, especially when you know yourself. And then you're like, you don't even know me. You're especially when you've worked behind. so hard. You've worked for every single penny you own, every single thing you own. And someone somewhere, you know, just tries to attribute all of that, that all of that hard work. Somebody. Someone. <sighs> no, it pay me. Girl, so. no a time for the trolls. All of you to be back soon. In fact, they'll be fine. But let's talk a little bit about motherhood mm -hmm. and Coco. Mm -hmm. My baby. Your baby, your ever so gorgeous, ever smiling baby. How is she? How is motherhood? What's the favorite part of being her mom? Favorite part will be when we have our little moments, you know. Yeah. After school, we just get to Jay's, talks to me about our friends. Coco to told me today, Mama, I know you don't have friends anymore, but don't worry, you can have my friends. And that really got to me, like. You know how intentional kids are? Because they don't get why, like, they don't really think about things, nobody really did think about she, she things. She just told me, you can have all of my friends, you can have Demi Lade, <laughs> Fire Fumi, Zara. I, I was like, wow, Coco, you're going to share your friends with me. I mean, no problem. Like it's so, it's so amazing. I can't even remember my life without, you. you know, Coco. I, can't, I, I literally cannot remember my life when I was still like single. You know, I'm a single parent by the way, and I'm loving it. No man problems, no daddy issues. <laughs> but the problem is you have to do the whole thing on your own. Yeah. So. Well. <sighs> At the end of the day, sometimes it gets to me. I won't even lie. If I if to ask you yeah, it, it, Father's Day in school. I show up. I show up. Show up Father's yeah. Day. Show up Mother's Day. Yeah, I, I show up. I don't. In fact, in fact, I love it. I love yeah. it for me. It's it's not my doing. Yeah. You you know, if a father is watching this interview now, I know it's you. Now you say you know. What if you? if if I'm not in your life. I don't want to be in her life. So, so that's okay. That's you fine. Both. Do you understand? And so on the that Exactly. She does. Like we're doing absolutely fine. Yeah. And you know, and I feel like Coco understands. She may not just say it to me. Yeah. She may not because of course she has um uh friends in school that you know their dad comes to school, you know, though she sees all of that, but she has never for once come to me to ask Mama, where is daddy? I Maybe one day she will, she will and I will tell her the truth. It's not be me. Not it's, not me. it's not me. It's not me. It's not me. We're in February. Personally, I already see that the year is bright. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are you looking forward to the most? Okay, you no, know, just here, yeah. yeah. Beauty by ED. We're having a Beauty by ED Academy coming up. You know, we have the British accreditation already yeah. in partnership with ETAL. So ITA is like a makeup community and okay. just, you know, brings two parties together. Let's learn something, let's do some let's do business. Why compete when we can collaborate? Yeah, exactly. Do you understand? So we we came together, we decided to do this academy where we get to, you know, train makeup artists, get them their Brit uh, British accreditation yeah. through ITA and Beauty by ED. And then there's this masterclass that's coming up as well, hey. May 11. It's out as well. I'll be, on, I'll be a judge on it. Okay. And we have another masterclass coming in 
Ghana, okay. 15 of May. You know, amazing yeah. stuff this year, amazing stuff. I feel like years even fully good. Are you a makeup artist? Yeah, I train three three places. I train at Mod Designery. I train, funny enough, I train with Laifa. Ooh. I train with a friend of mine, Ugo. I train with her as well. And I'm also doing upgrade classes myself. Because I didn't have, I was like, honestly, I don't know if she was a makeup artist before she started makeup, but I know she's been doing this for way more than, oh, like, I started, was going to say five, six years. It's even eight I years. started as a makeup artist. My first training was in 2013. So it's about my 11th year right, right now. So what made you say... Notes. Yeah, makeup is good, but I want to be a makeup entrepreneur. Okay, so, ah, you know, the makeup artistry is not easy. I have to clap for all the makeup artists I have a friend that in the house. Makeup artistry. I, I know a lot of people, I know makeup. a lot of people that are like I can't do makeup artistry. Like, it's not easy, you know. You have to deal with self-confidence. You have to deal with, you know, back aches all the time because you have to literally stand and stand and stand and stand. Yeah. It's a whole lot of, you know, it's draining. But for me, why I left the makeup artistry was the fact that I got bullied. Right. I mean, I'm a softy. I'm a, like, a serious one. So I got bullied by a top celebrity. So that was the day I, I thought, I feel like I made up my mind that I wasn't going to do pursue the makeup, makeup artistry yeah. anymore but i still wanted to do makeup jiggy i still wanted to do makeup i've always loved the idea of painting faces you know mixing foundations you know looking good especially yeah. lip glosses i remember when i was still like really young i'll sit my stepmother down and, like let me paint your face even though i do no sense <laughs> I was still paint her face and all so it was something that it was it started off like a hobby for me it grew into a passion yeah. and then you know along the line in 2016 i made up my mind i might not just turn this passion into business you know instead of just sitting down because you know i trained as a makeup artist in 2013 yeah. so 2014 15 it was more like i didn't have a direction on no, what to do in my life out. you get me because you know after that incident now i'm like okay i don't know what to do but i feel like this makeup is just it's my funny, thing yeah. that was when i just made up my mind that you know what just, just start. You do. You might not have it figured it out yet, yeah. but the idea is for you to start. Yeah. Once you start, every other thing will fall, fall in place. You. And you know, I made that decision eight years ago. Look at where I, I am today. Now. I said with just five lipsticks. Again, look at you eating. Like I'm grateful. Before I let you go, say something amazing to our viewers. That I've been anticipating having you in my house. <laughs> okay, so hmm, what I'm just going to say to you guys is that it is okay to make mistakes. Okay, it is okay. Just pick up your pieces and keep on working. Don't stop. And even if you've not started anything, just think of that one thing that you've been wanting to do. That thing that you love. Start. The whole idea is for you to start. So once you start, leave the rest and make sure you make God your foundation. Okay? Thank you. I, I'm not going to let you go just like that. Mm. As a premium babe, without giving you a premium gift eh? from a premium brand hey. that deals in premium red leather. <laughs> Okay. But I have this amazing gift for oh, you. Titi Do I know Titi Dog. You know Titi Dog? Yeah. I hope you love Titi Dog. Of course I do. Okay. okay. Wow. So they have this. Hey! <laughs> can I open it? You can I'm open it. I'm unboxing right here. You can open it. <laughs> ah. Uh -uh. Wow. Ooh. Is this a wallet? Ooh, I need a wallet! <laughs> Shabby, you know, maybe. I should. I know that I'm the one giving you, but uh, you can like. Yeah, Ooh, I love it. it. Thank you. I'm gonna hug you right now. Oh, this is so. What did cute. you bring for me? Hey, my <clears> love. Hmm. <laughs> you know, you know. Oh, oh this is so cute. Thank you. I love it. We loved having you. Thank they you. loved having you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you great so for much. Game. And I'm looking forward to the amazing things that is going to happen for you yeah. during the course of the year and yes, the amazing yes, things you're yes, going to yes, do. Yes. We're going to invite you. Once we, once we launch our new product, definitely invite you for see, the product let launch. Let me see that you brought out 
influencer list. Ah, no, you're you there, you're there, you're there. Allow our magazine is not there. The thing is, we're even signing you, but don't worry, we'll, we'll contact you. Okay. I'll let my team reach out. I. <laughs> thank you so I, much. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. much. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>